Hi, it's Martin Lewis from MoneySavingExpert.com here. The Chancellor has just stood up in Parliament and announced an extension of the furlough scheme until October. So I thought I'd do a quick video briefing for you. Now, for me, this feels very much like a holding statement. We're being told we're going to get more detail at the end of May. There's no official statement yet on the Treasury, although the Chancellor has done a series of tweets which explain the detail of what's going on. Let me run through that for you. So the first thing is the scheme is being extended until July, exactly as it is now. 80% up to £2,500, exactly the same eligibility. So that's really the initial three-month scheme that was extended till June, now goes on till July in the same way. After July, the intention is to put some flexibility in the scheme, to allow people to start working while they're on furlough. Remember, the current rules are you can't work for your existing employer while on furlough. You can work for another employer, although you'll need your existing employ employer's permission, depending on your contract, to do so. So after that point, from August, September, October, what we'll have is you will be able to work for your employer, but your employer will be asked to share the cost. No details on what that means at the moment, but what the Chancellor is saying is if you work under the furlough scheme, you'll still need to get the 80% of pay. So even if your employer is sharing the cost, you're still going to get a minimum 80% of pay under furlough. I think probably... This has been done now just to give people some confidence uh, that the scheme is going to be able to continue. Exactly how it will work is interesting. What we don't know yet is whether once we get to that uh, August uh, period where part-time work will be allowed, whether it'll have to be, whether the only furlough will be a part-time scheme. I just can't see that working because there'll still be some sectors of society that probably aren't open up yet. So um, there'll still be some people who are fully government furloughed, if you like. Also, conspicuous by its absence is any mention of the Self-Employment Income Support Scheme, which is, of course, open from tomorrow for applications. And that only pays out for three months. So we have a full five months of government furlough and only three months of self-employment at the moment. And then, obviously, you've got the extension period where we'll have that other slightly changed incarnation of furlough and still no news for the self-employed. I would find it quite flabbergasting if there wasn't some support for the self-employed to come. I'm hearing rumours that the Chancellor may well do a press conference one day this week, and it might be there that we get that self-employment support announced. Uh, I know the other questions people are going to ask me about this. What about new starter furloughs? What about new self-employed? What about limited company directors? Well, the Chancellor was just asked in Parliament about limited company directors, and he made the point they can furlough themselves on their salary element. Clearly, I don't see any change coming to dividends there. What, and, and that's been the stance from the start. So if there were to be wriggle room, you'd expect it to be on new starters, both employment and self-employed. But I'm not seeing any wriggle room. It's probably what I would ask the Chancellor if I get to ask him a question at one of the press conferences, which I'm trying to do. We'll see if they accept me to go in there. Um, but uh, the, the honest point is they're trying to contract the scheme at the moment, not expand the scheme. So I think it is going to be very difficult to get any changes in. Anyway, this is just a brief video update to keep you informed. I will be tweeting and Facebooking more details. The new sections on MoneySavingExpert.com will be updated with any, any story. And of course, the big major guys that the team and I are working on keeping constantly updated. Now, tens of thousands of words of help for your specific subject and lots of tips if you fall through the cracks on support or you don't and you want more support are still there. Please use them. But just a quick briefing for you. Thank you.